Hey hi everyone welcome back in the today's video we are going to learn that how to set up and run your very first test in the node.js using the built-in test runner and the best part that you don't need any third-party libraries like Jest or mocha node.js now comes with its own native test runner so starting from the version 18 and above it is available so let's start let's see that how we work with it right so first of all you make sure that you have the node.js version of 18 and the above right and after that let's just start so npm init dash y press enter so we are just creating our node project right so yeah, it is uh, the package.json is here now what we will do is that we will basically create a file named math.js right so what i will do i will create math.js file and inside of this what i'll do i'll create a function which will be adding two numbers right so let's say function function of naming add a comma b and here inside of this i'll write return a plus b that's it right now i will simply export it so i'll write module dot export module dot export equals to curly bracket add like this got it now what i will do now basically this is our small function which is adding just two numbers now in the next step we will create a test file and by the convention we will use dot test dot js let me show you so what i'll do i'll create a new file name uh, math dot test dot js like this Got it? You can see the logo here. So basically, this is the testing file. So here, what I'll do, I'll write const test equals to require. Put a bracket here, and inside of this, we'll write node test like this. So make sure that you use node colon test. Right? What is it? Basically, this is the node uh, node JS a built-in test module right so it is already available to you you just need to require it after that we will use const assert equals to require put a bracket here and inside of this i'll write node assert right node assert like this now what is this it is used to check the condition basically in the node.js right so that's it after that we will write const bracket add we are now going to call our add function from the math.js file so we will write require and give the address math like this got it now after that just test put a bracket here and add to number comma put a bracket like this and inside of this i'll write const result equals to add 2 comma 3 and then sorry i just did a mistake yeah so here i'll write assert dot strict equal to result now i told you now that assert is useful to check the condition that's why assert dot strict equal that this particular result should be equal to result comma five right if you are adding two or three then definitely there should be a result of five right so this is what we are checking that whether it is giving me a right result or not right so by doing this uh now after that we just need to go and write node dash dash test let's see that whether it will work or not so what happened is let me show you so what happened that it has given me a tick can you see so it has given me a tick that means that we have successfully written and run our first test using the node.js native test runner and the test is 1 suit 0 and the pass is 1 means our pass is successfully done got it so this is how we work with the node.js native test runner you see a green check mark here on the top and in most of other system there could be a ok in the green color right so which basically means that your test is successfully passed 
right and that's it that's it this is what we are going to learn in the very first lecture we have created a project folder we wrote a simple function which is math.js then we wrote a test that is math.test.js then we ran it inside uh, basically using the node dash dash test make sure make sure that you use this basically right so this is how we work with it and this is all about today's video thank you so much for watching let's meet in the next lecture very soon till then goodbye